Yes, sir. That is a big puddle. I'm not going to go fast, but I'm going to go through it with over $400,000 worth of driving muscle. Yeehaw! This is a houseboat, right? <laughs> this is incredible. That was so smooth. I've driven through that pond in other vehicles and it wasn't as smooth as this one was, which is surprising, shockingly surprising, that you'd have something like this, a Rolls Royce going through that puddle, making it like it's going through a rain puddle on the street, but that was deep. Goodness Lord. <laughs> I'm approaching the off-road testing section of this course. This is the part where we're really gonna see how these SUVs, crossovers, and trucks handle you know, the articulation, the hills, the approach angle and departure and ground clearance, that kind of stuff. And it just wasn't, would never cross my mind that you would take a Rolls Royce on this course, but so far it's been very impressive on what it can do, what it has done. And uh, I think this will be a good test right here. So. Let's get going on the off-road portion. All right, my friends, I know this takes but two minutes to do. I'm gonna try to spread it out a little bit because I'm never gonna be able to do this again. So a little bit of speed bump here, kind of describe what we're gonna do. Uh, there's an off-road uh, option here, which is activated. There's also a hill descent control activated. Other than that, uh, I'm gonna go over it nice and slow, take it easy because I want Rolls Royce to allow me to drive their vehicles in the future. <laughs> Check it out. This is what the uh, infotainment screen backup camera looks like right now as we're approaching some of these, I don't know, obstructions. I'll keep this on right here as we take the first hillside. The, the alarm or the alert is still going on. Sorry for the shakiness. Front view camera, 360 surround camera. All right. Now approaching this hillside, this little hill. Okay. How about that for some details? <laughs> Can't believe I'm in a Rolls Royce going off road. Details, man. All right, now the divots. How will it do? Ooh, steady. Smooth, actually. How about that? That was quite the little ride, wasn't it? A little over two minutes. So, with all that done, how would you 
grade the Cullen in off-road on a scale of 1 to 10 from what you saw there in that short little clip. <sighs> it should be pretty high, right? It's going to be a B or plus or higher, don't you think? Hey, leave that in the comment section below. Other comments are more than welcome. Appreciate you watching. More videos from this event uh, already on the channel and probably more to come if you haven't, if this is, you're watching this first one. Either way, thank you so much. See you next time. Adios! Yeehaw! Jester's dead. Woo hoo! One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.